Hi, it's Oink. I'm going to show you today how to uh, verify your download so that you know that it's the right download and it's not some scammy other wallet that uh, have been promoted the last couple of days. Okay, um, I'm going to do this on uh, my Mac virtual machine. Uh, as you can see, I already download various desktop for the macOS latest version. Uh, what I'm going to do, this is the download and I'm going to double click to extract it. And there it is extracted. Now, if I go into that folder, I see two files. Uh, let me maximize that one. I see two files. A DMG, which is basically the image, uh, the disk image you can install from and the signature text and the signature text in this case is the most important one so i'm going to open that one and it has a hash a signature and a signer in it i already have various desktop open um, as you can see it is not synchronized well that's no problem you can do this even on a not completely synchronized uh, wallet uh, the most important thing is, is that the ID is available on the blockchain and what is already on the blockchain and on the blockchain uh, on behind uh, you are and I'm at uh, 1.1 million. So that is okay because the release ID that is being used was created somewhere in January 2020 and we would have been at somewhere at the 800,000 range back there. Okay, I'm going to my Vera's ID uh, page and I'm going to click verify signed data. And I don't want to have a message or text, but I want to verify a file. First thing I'm going to do is get the file. It is in my downloads folder and it's in, it is this DMG. Vera's desktop. 072-6 DMG. Yep, that's the right one. I'm going to open it. And I have to fill in an identity or address. Now, for that, I need to have that uh, signature text file open because I'll need to copy the identity or you can type it if you want to. I'm going to do it all on the screen so you can see what I do and I'm not going too fast. I'm going to paste it here, various coin foundation releases at, and I need the signature. So I'm going to copy that from the text file as well. It is the signature. There you go. And copy it and paste it. Oops, paste it here. Right. All I need to do now is continue. And it will take a while, in this case, a little while, and say it gives me a green tick box where it says signature verified. Now, let me go back. Uh, let me show you what happens if I put in wrong data. Uh, let me put my own ID in there and copy the signature out. So if someone would have put in uh, his own ID in there and left the rest the same, you would see something like this. It, and it is very clear. If you see this, you cannot use your, you either did what you do, uh, did something wrong, or you need to uh, redo your steps and make sure you do it securely. You, you are meticulously or you have a fake wallet and in that case i urge you to go come into discord and report that thanks for watching i hope uh, to see you soon again bye bye